Hello everyone, this is Chris, and uh, welcome to Nerd Room Tour Series. Uh, yeah, we're going to show you some cool stuff, so let's get started. But this week we're going to do something different. I want to cover some of these posters I have here, and then we're going to go inside that closet and check out what's in there. Anyway, this first poster here is, I got this from Club Nintendo. It's uh, The Legend of Zelda, Link's History from since 1987. This I got in 2009, so for some reason it only goes up to 2007. Uh, I guess because no Zelda games came out in the two years between when this poster was made. But anyway, so it has, you know, all the links here. Uh, there's Ocarina of Time Link, Majora's Mask, um, Wind Waker, uh, what's it called, a Twilight Princess. So there's a bunch here. That one I think is from Phantom Hourglass, the DS game. So yeah, really cool uh, poster here. Now below here, this is an interesting poster. You can see right here that's Spongebob Squarepants' arm. Um, this was actually from a giant banner that hung above um, the cash registers at the GameStop I worked at. And uh, I asked if I could have it, and they're like, sure. And I'm like, well, I kind of just want the Lego stuff. Because this was the year that Lego um, Star Wars The Complete Edition that came out. So I'm like, alright, well let me cut it out. But the thing is, I couldn't quite cut it completely, because if I had cut down here, uh, I would have cut out the Ewoks, so I had to keep Spongebob's arm. Um, but yeah, this is from GameStop. I took this home, and uh, yeah, really cool. I like it a lot. And then um, here, this is another Club Nintendo uh, poster that I got. Sorry about the glare, guys. It's uh, from the same... Um, it was a three-pack that came with that one, a Wind Waker poster, and this beautiful... Twilight Princess poster. This is Twilight Princess is my favorite Zelda game. Uh, I thought it had the most epic story, epic first time in a video game. I felt like I really went on an epic quest, and I thought this poster was just so epic with like Midna and Zelda, and uh, all this epicness. Let's enter this. All right, so it's gonna be really hard to go through all of this. Uh, when I made my my overall video where I showed everything on my game room tour. Uh, these boxes were never unpacked because these are things I'm probably never going to use so I have them still packed away but this is a mess I mean look at this this is for all intents and purposes like a storage room um, so up here for some reason these are books for exams I studied in uh, grad school um, this is an angry bears uh, angry bears my god I uh, angry birds uh, Chewbacca that uh, my mother-in-law gave me that I thought was really cute so I have it up here um, this is actually a PlayStation 1, which was the slim uh, PlayStation uh, that came out, I believe, in the year 2000. And then up here, this is the original PlayStation, which I don't... Can I? No, I can't really take it out. All this is going to fall, but I'll try to give you guys a good view from the top. But that, my friends, is the original 90s designed PlayStation, which I still have. Then uh, up here, this right here, you guys will recognize. Uh, this is the... Wii, which I don't have hooked up because um, I have a Wii U, so I figured why do I need that if I have that? And then right below that is the GameCube, uh, which I still play to this day. And then uh, all these bags you see here, these are just random cables. That's the, right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, that's the keyboard from uh, for Typing of the Dead. That's the Dreamcast keyboard, so you can play that game. Um, then I have boxes galore. I remember my dad's like, why do you keep those damn boxes? And I told him, dude, I just like them. I think they look really cool. And if I can keep them as long as I can, I will. But all right, let me show you guys what we got here. So this is the PS2 Slim um, box that I got my Slim PS2 in. Uh, right below that, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the, the Kinect, um, Microsoft Kinect box uh, that I got my Kinect in. Um, this is actually a box for the collector's edition of Taking Back Sunday, their album new again. It's a band I liked. I kept their box. Um, and then right above that, that is the original. It's dusty as hell, as you can see, and I'm allergic to dust, so I'm just going to leave it there. But that's the original PS2 box that uh, when I bought it back in the year 2000, 14 years ago. Pretty crazy, but there it is in all its glory. Uh, and then up there, that's the original uh, GameCube box that I got in... Uh, in 2001 in November that I, I kept that as well I got the indigo console then uh, let's see here that's little big plant 2 collector's edition um, that's the DSI box uh, I believe what is this right here this is probably Resident Evil yeah that's the Resident Evil 5 uh, collector's edition box 
That's the uh, DS Lite box up there. That's an old Super Nintendo controller box. And then that's the Game Boy Advance SP box. Um, then up here, this is just more random stuff. Uh, I think that's a controller of some sort. Uh, what else do I have here? That's Ronald McDonald. These are a bunch of collectibles. I have Stan from South Park there. Uh, Ninja Band-Aid, stuff like that. That's my PSP box. Um, these are, oh, these are both boxed, um, uh, P uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, uh, action figures. That's, um, let me see if you guys can see, that's what the case looks like right there, but that's, um, Link, and that's Ganondorf. So, uh, there's some comics right there. Karaoke Revolution, these are some Master Replica miniature, um, uh, lightsabers that I have. That's a bear I got for graduation uh, for my master's degree actually, it's pretty recent. Got some iPhone cases, that's a chihuahua that sadly doesn't sing anymore. He was really cool though, he sang Jingle Bell and a bunch of other stuff, but he doesn't do it anymore. Um, and yeah, then I got some CDs there, burnable CDs and some burnt CDs and DVDs. Uh, Alright, and let's go here. This, oh I'll show this off because it's pretty easy to take out. Um, I still have this in the case and it's starting to get yellow. This is from the original X-Men movie. So this is 14 years old. This is uh, Wolverine. Uh, some CDs. These are the demo discs from the RBD video I did, if you guys remember. That's my 360 uh, box. Inside is actually a dead, well, an about to be dead 360. Uh, it kind of died once and I resurrected it and I haven't touched it since, so it's probably dead. Then I got my Wii U box, my Wii box, my PS3 box. Um, in here I just junk that I didn't think relevant to take out. Uh, there's my Metal Gear Solid Raiden poster that I wanted to put right here on my wall, this this wall here, but can't do it. It just doesn't want to stick it. I had it up there for a while and it kept falling down. Um, in here, basically, are just random stuff like this. This is a Halloween gift thing. I have a PS2 controller here. This is a bongo that I found in elementary school. I found it in a classroom and I asked the teacher, can I have this bongo? And she's like, do you know who it belongs to? I'm like, no. And she's like, I guess. Well, this is the original uh, Game Shark for the N64 right here. You can actually play imported N64 games with that, so it's pretty cool. Um, what is this? These are Halloween, like, uh, like uh, cup holders or whatever. Uh, so you don't, your cup doesn't sweat. Uh, then I got some more Halloween stuff back there. Um, there. Oh, look, that's the Sega Dreamcast box right there. Uh, that's the Metal Gear Rising uh, Revengeance Collector's Edition box. Um, that's the Retron. Look at that, guys. The Retron 5 finally came out. Actually, let me show it to you guys because it finally came out. and I, It was after I did this corner, but there it is, the Retron 5. Oh, that's my Xbox One box. Uh, this is my 360 Slim box that's upside down. Uh, got a bunch of miscellaneous boxes. Oh, check this out. This is really cool. This is um, my back when PC boxes were huge. This is the Half Life Blue Shift box that I got. You open it up, it came with, I think, Opposing Force as well. So, But I already owned it, so it really didn't matter. Um, then here, this is my PS4 box. That's my Vita box, my 3DS box. Um, what is this right here? Uh, that's my Norelco Shaver box. Oh, this is my sister's iPhone case she didn't want, but I wanted to keep it because it looks like a Game Boy. I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, that's the uh, Atari flashback. I wanted an Atari, but I didn't really want to buy one or have to hunt down the cart, so I just got one of those plug-and-play things. It's pretty cool. Um, and then in here, let's see, I got some collector stuff here. This is my hat. Gotta wear a hat sometimes. Um, and then, oh, look, this is an extra copy of uh, X-Men vs. Street Fighter for the Sega Saturn. Anyone wants to buy it, I'll make you a fine price. Then I have uh, some DVDs here, collector's edition boxes. In here is, is more stuff, and then down here is just more junk. This is my original, um, well, this is actually my fiance. She didn't want any more, so she gave it to me. It's a DS Lite. And then over here on the side, these are, this is sadly my entire Vita collection that's physical. I don't think I'm ever going to get another Vita game, sadly, because uh, Sony's pretty much abandoned it. And then um, down here, I'll show you guys my, my games. So really it starts down here alphabetically, but I have uh, the Ace Attorney games for DS, um, the uh, Assassin's Creed, Brain Age, I got the Castlevanias, 
Clubhouse Games, uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Oh, these two were exclusive to Club Nintendo, the Game & Watch collections. I got both of them. Um, Mario Kart, Metal Slug. Um, what else? Super Mario Brothers, New Super Mario Brothers, Ninja Gaiden, Dragon Sword. Only Ninja Gaiden game I've ever liked. Um, Professor Layton, that's, these are actually my fiancés. Sonic games, Super Mario 64 DS, excellent port. Um, Phantom Hourglass, I was talking about earlier. Uh, Beautiful Joe that a friend of mine gave me. Um, and WarioWare, last, uh, DS game I think I ever bought. Then, uh, I've mainly gone digital for 3DS, but these are some of the physical carts I have. Kid Icarus, excellent, excellent game. I hope they make a sequel. Um, Metal Gear Solid, 3D Snake Eater. Um, Pilot Wings, Resident Evil Revelations with the fucked up spine that they had messed up in. Star Fox 64, 3D, excellent, um, remake. Super Mario 3D Land, uh, Theater Rhythm, ah, I can't wait for the sequel, and Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Ah, these are my Rock Band controllers and my Guitar Hero controller, and then of course this is my epic as all hell, uh, Dance Dance Revolution dance pad that I think is broken. I haven't used it in years and there's a flood in my room and it touched the flood and I'm pretty sure it's broken. And then in the crease you can see here is my Wii Fit board, which, uh, I was using and then kind of gave up on. So that's the closet, and that's... Jesus Christ, there's a lot of stuff in there. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. If you did like what you saw, please uh, click the subscribe button. Join the CR Happen Army today. I'm building an army to take on all these games, and I would really appreciate it if you guys could join. And, um, yeah, regardless, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, we'll be back next month with another Nerd Room Tour series. Alright guys, take care. Thanks for watching.